This video is about establishing the true purpose of masonry in a way that even a fool must concede. So, the true purpose of masonry is to control reproduction and to mislead people to continually output the children of the cult idea of set. Masonry backwards, where the M is the arc and the, R, the Y is made an O, is or no say. Masonry or no say. Set, the T is the plus. Backwards is T's or E's. Using phonetics and sounds, it is also seat. Set stances in martial arts, etc. Masonry and her allies control every culture in society. I happen to have my own lifestyle and use, gathering, um, there, there's no evidence that I've ever seen of a single other person on the planet who doesn't have a lifestyle that they approve of more than not, other than myself. Okay. So, masonry again is the E. The E for eugenics. Francis Galton was a eugenicist. For evil, a lot of the presidents in this corrupt nation were masons. For equality, right? A false idea of equality. And I'll be exploring that in a moment. Also for female. The fee is the male. The child, right? And the gender neutral idea. Fee, men, I, uh, no. Okay? Feminine. The fee is the men, the, which, who is the patron of chemists, the cult center. Emasculate. E mask. You late. You're late. You should have had your E mask on in place, and you should be behaving using psychology and so on. I go. I discuss psyche in the past. So now I will ask um, the guest uh, the question. Okay, should a hero resent the children of the devil who have been given the nurture of the devil, especially when it is their false pride and it is their breeding, right? They're bred in the spirit of evil. They're low bred. Not high bread, not the bread from heaven. They're not flying higher than a hawk in the heavens, right? They are ground crawling, worldly, culture accepting scum. I despise everyone else on the planet but myself. And now I will ask you again should a hero, Haru especially, resent the children of the devil who have been given the nurture of the devil? Um, no, I, I disagree. Um, I feel that people need to have their own uh, choices and freedom to be allowed to do as they choose and to make their own decisions. Now, as you're um, privileged with having heroic skills, um, many people aren't as privileged. And even though you're gang stalked, and many people aren't, like myself, um, it almost gives you it, it, it gives you more empowering em empowerment to follow God's way whereas other people because they've got so much freedom and they go with crowds it gives them that flexibility to choose you many may argue with you to say that you may not have any choice but to follow God okay, that all you have to say okay mm. So now let's, let's work some more wordplay for a second. Let's talk about liberty. L bore e two or uh, uh, excuse me, L bore e liberty, where the T is the plus. Okay, L bear e. The L in this case is more like ball. It is set. They set the settlers want you to have a child that takes on the principles, characteristics, and aspects and Luciferian energy of set. Set is, uh, is aggressive and working with the passive moon deity, Isis. Isis was supposed to be a sun deity, but she is uh, redefined um, as a moon deity, especially when you combine it with Hakate and other things, the Statue of Liberty, okay? So we talk about the ease, to be at ease, right? To be passive, to be set in place. There is a passive aggressiveness when you combine the two. So Babylon, baby L-N, right? Isis is basically being tricked by set and raped. The widow's son in masonry, right? The widow being Isis. How does she have a son in the Masonic lore? She is raped. Serapis, 
see rape is. Pike talks about how there's Masons in Jew in, in the, uh, the Jewish um, religion. There's Masons in Islam, and there are Masons in Christianity. We have seen more than enough evidence that they all they pretty much control the whole show when it comes to religion and every culture. Okay, so we think about dog. What is dog? Uh, uh, what is God backwards? It is dog. What does a dog do? He digs. You move the O and replace it with the I. Dig. And what does he bury? Right, a bone. He's concerned with securing his bone. Their God is like a miner, min, to mine. Okay, again, phonetic supply. To dig so they can get the gold so they can secure their mate. We're talking about worshiping the devil. They are in the worst shape of the devil. God demands a martial arts structure to jump, to climb, to fly. To transcend means to rise above and beyond. It means to climb across, to jump, to climb, to fly naturally and spiritually, first and foremost. And as you connect mind, body, and soul, it leads you to martial arts. Only God has true freedom. Freedom. The only true uh, way someone can live their life is in the martial arts structure. Because when you consider that freedom doesn't truly exist because you're not God. You can't live forever naturally by yourself. You can't rewind time. There's some things you can't do. So by default, you're limited. Therefore, you don't have true freedom. And even in anarchy, you know, you're, there's constraints, right? You can't go out and kill everybody. Do you have the power to? Most people don't, okay? You're constrained. And plus, you will pay the price if you do, which goes back to how the law and natural law relate to your ability to pursue things that you consider as part of your inalienable rights and freedoms. So anyone who's not raised in the martial arts order is a child of the devil for this reason. They are not in the war shape or worship of God. They are in the shape of the bull, the jackal, the ground crawling snake like they're worldly. Okay, Gaia, Earth Mother, Anna, Earth Mother, this world. Okay, uh, uh, Osiris himself was sitting down. He is not the true God. Ra is the true God. One must spiritually transcend, okay, and fly higher than a hawk to be in the war shape of God. And I mean spiritually. So let's talk about what Pike said himself. He talks about intellect and force, the science and intellect to refine the direction of humanity. He says masonry does not replace religion. And I quote, it is the aspiration of the soul toward the absolute an infinite intelligence, which is the one supreme deity most feebly and misunderstandingly characterized as an architect, end quote. He's talking about the tree of knowledge. He's talking about people who have been educated with a Western education, a Western mystery school foundation philosopher, Sophia knowledge, philo Sophia education, okay? directing society in groups and controlling their reproduction. Francis Galton was a mason. He coined the term eugenics, the self-direction of humanity. They're not talking about using uh, martial arts to show spiritual power. They're talking about using thought, meditation, and prayer to direct the compass that directs humanity. They call it the mysterious, mysterious pointings of the needle on the compass. Is there a martial arts order based on cultivating righteous indignation within a pyramid shape? Or are Masons said to be in the book Morals and Dogma subordinate to the wisest and the best using a Western scale when we have seen their works? We know them by their works. George Washington was a Mason. Benjamin Franklin, we know them by their works. There's some Native American killing, African slave raping, Chinese railroading, white supremacist, burn crosses type of scum. We know the Masons are scum. That is not up for debate in the slightest. If you think that, you may as well stop watching it now because you are out of touch. And I sure as hell wouldn't want to compare my sense if I was someone else to the top martial artist who had a $4,000 challenge for four years. You may as well sit down and shut up and concede that I am the wisest and the best. And yes, I'm 100% correct to say it that way. When we talk about war shape, can some big strong knucklehead uh, focus on pull-ups? No. Pull-ups lead to a certain war shape 
When you work out in the gym, you're not gonna emphasize the pull-ups. You're gonna do bench press. You're gonna work on your shoulders. You're gonna do dips. Your body's gonna be this big wild boar, rhino, uh, hippo body. You're not in worse shape just because you work out. You have to work out with the spirit of righteous indignation. And if every day you are working out and doing martial arts blows, light contact, sparring, and martial arts blows, training and hitting the hitting the bag with the spirit of righteous indignation, you will have honed your senses, honed your able, honorable, and you will refuse to be with the big shit. You know them by their works indeed. The satanic whore is likely to applaud the scum that trick them into bed in this culture. Why? Because it is a satanic culture. The New Age says it themselves. They say, thank you for giving me this forgiveness. The Bible is by the bowl. It's by the golden calf. When was the Bible written compared to when the Jews were worshiping the golden calf? Palmyra was where the Temple of Bel is, which was in the Roman Empire, and they had trade routes going all throughout that bitch. Between Baal, the Canaanites, uh, the Egyptians, and Apis, and Mont, okay, and, 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 and the countless, uh, you know, and Bacchus and so on, uh, or wherever the deity was there, okay, and um, um, uh, the, the Palmyrians, it is quite clear that this bull deity got around. Did it just disappear in thin air? No, because we still are knee deep in Western mystery school bullshit. You know them by their works. This is a crony capitalist culture with a bunch of used salesmen scum, a bunch of big pharmaceutical trash pushing the drugs of chemistry, men and chemistry. Men, mine, amen, or amen, the bull, and men, and so on, and much. The T is the plus, men. So when we look at the history of corporations, 500 AD, we'll, we'll call it Justinian, 527 to 565, we see that corporations are officially recognized as sponsoring cults, burial clubs, political groups, and guilds of craftsmen or traders. And that's how it's recorded. Craftsmen or traders. These are trade root bitches and traders is also a play on word for traitors. These are the mage type bitches. You know them by their works, by their funny hats, by their funny clothes. Image, eye of the mage. Okay? The magi. You know that they are scum. And the M is the Ark, so it gets you the age. And the New Agers talk about Jesus will be with you to the end of the age. And they talk about a new age. It's a new age of the mage that seeks to use magic card bitch shit to replace the divine martial arts order that I am the last of. Obi means heart. Obi means king. Obi means temple or hut. I am the man Obi. Leopard society, leopard of Ra, the trinity of Ra, the father, the leopard, the son, the hawk, the holy spirit, the golden sun disc spirit with wings. And the Masons even agree that the ancients worshipped the sun and the moon was a symbol of passivity. So when you consider how they are reproducing in the spirit of Set and the Masons even brag about how spirit means breath. They are in the Luciferian energy breath. Your thinking, can, you know, help. Uh, your heart rate is partially regulated by your thinking, and certainly one way or another, which affects your breathing. When you get worked up, your breathing patterns change. Carl Jung, patterns of nature, and I can go on and on and on. The entire world is the children of the devil that have refused the divine martial arts order. If you spent your life serving God, I ask all you viewers, how come you don't know who the fuck? I am. If you have been seeking the kingdom of heaven, how come you didn't connect it to pure sun temple martial arts? God said, seek ye the kingdom of heaven, not read a book that's called Bible by a bunch of wordplay bit wordplay bitches that control the church. By the bull. Even Martin Luther King's last speech, I believe it was, was in a Masonic church or auditorium. You've been sitting there acting like bitches and you've been fucked up the ass spiritually and otherwise, by complete scum who love the shit. Think about it. You are loony, loony tunes, moon temple cartoon, playing the tune in your car, devil's tune, not God's tone type of bitches. So yes, I despise you, and yes, I do believe I have the more convincing, more powerful, and unavoidably true argument here. Thank you.